Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a I Love Mermaids and Unicorn reading for June 19th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, handsome or beautiful, and kind. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there may be enlightened by these videos. To my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. You are the backbone to this channel, and I appreciate you. So, yes, this is an I Love Mermaids and Unicorn reading. Um, this is for the general collective, and it is timeless. So whenever you see it is when it's meant for you. So let's go ahead and get started. These cards have been pre-shuffled. I'm just going to get one extra shuffle in, just so I can get the general energy for today's reading. Okay general reading or general energy for the reading for today for 6 19 2020 is ooh, we have the joker okay and the joker to me is like the fool right taking that leap of faith wanting to move in a direction that serves them better right or you, the viewer, right? Wanting to get away from all the negativity in your life, trying to take a new leap of faith in a better direction, a direction that benefits you, a direction that is high vibrational. Okay? So let's go ahead and find out what is going on. Let's get a card for the viewer as you are. Wow, how interesting. So you really, really, really want to take that new leap of faith in a different direction, right? We have the Joker again. How, how crazy that is, right? I've shuffled the cards. I even shuffled to let that fall out. <laughs> interesting. So you, as you are, are like the fool wanting to take a new journey in a direction that benefits you. Let's find out, are you on the correct path? Okay. Two cards came out. We have the Ten of Cups. All right. And we have the King of Pentacles, which I will return to the deck. So we have the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is all about happy family, happy home, right? The Ten of Cups in this deck is also the Wheel of Fortune, okay? This is about plans set in motion, moving forward to that happy family, happy home. This is what the Leap of Faith might be all about. Let's find out what is the main obstacle. What is the main obstacle of the viewer? It's almost like we're getting two cards out every single time, right? Well, we have the Ten of Cups now in the reverse, all right? We have the Ace of Pentacles also in the reverse, but I will be returning this to the deck. So it's appearing to me that you want a happy family, happy home, but perhaps the main obstacle is not being able to obtain that for some reason. Okay. Let's find out what is helping you right now. What is helping the viewer right now? We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Cups is a party or a celebration. It could also be 
a third party situation. Now it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be possibly friends or family members trying to put their two cents in, <laughs> basically, right? It could be somebody giving you bad opinions, bad directions. But it could also be a third party romantic situation. It just depends, right? Let's find out how can progress be made here. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Now, the King of Cups is a sensitive king, right? He, creative, he creatively channels um, things into his professional success, right? Whatever he channels into his professional success is definitely creative, all right? This is a very emotional king. It doesn't necessarily mean, though, that this king expresses his emotions, right? So you could possibly be in the energy of the King of Cups, or you can be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or you can be dealing with somebody who is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let's go ahead and start clarifying, just so we can find out the backstory to this, okay? Why is this joker here for the viewer. Why is the joker here for the viewer? Why is the joker here for the viewer? And in case I didn't read that joker card, it says, the awkward moment when someone says mermaids aren't real and I'm standing right next to them. Hmm. I didn't know that uh, mermaids could stand up. Hmm. Anyhow. We have the Queen of Cups, and this is in the reverse. Let's read what the card says. Make your life story so amazing that unicorns have a hard time believing it. <laughs> so we have the King, the Queen of Cups, and, the, and she is in the reverse. All right. So it appears we're dealing with a couple here because we have the King of Cups here. And we have the Queen of Cups here, but the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. All right. <clears throat> now the Queen of Cups in this deck is also the Empress. This is a fertile woman. This woman has responsibility to nature, right? She nurtures whatever seeds that are planted and helps them to grow. Her ideas are abundant. The Empress is an abundant, pregnant woman. But she doesn't have to be pregnant. She could be pregnant with ideas, right? Ideas that move people forward. Let's find out what else we have here with this Joker card. Why else is this Joker card here? Ten of Pentacles. So you want to take a leap of faith in a different direction. You want to head towards this key Queen of Cups that's in the reverse. And the reason why you want to do this is because there's stability there. All right. This Queen of Cups, she provides you with stability, but she's in the reverse. Now, the Ten of Pentacles indicates to me that a choice of security and enjoyment to wealth is here with this Queen of Cups who's in the reverse. It appears that you might not be getting along with her. Okay? Let's find out what else we have here for this Joker card. Miles. Okay. 
So we have the Seven of Wands here. And the Seven of Wands tells me that you guys have been arguing. Disagreements. Right? The Seven of, of Wands <clears throat> is about vigilance. It's about the struggle to stay ahead. So you may be struggling with this Queen of Cups, struggling to get ahead with her to have this stability. Right? You could be also fighting with others about this Queen who is stable. Maybe others don't agree with you being with this queen. And they have put the thought in your mind that she is in the reverse. That she is not nurturing. That she is not good for you. Right? That she is not the empress. And that she could not bring you happiness. But in this deck, she's the empress. So let's go ahead and find out, you know, uh, are you on the correct path? Because it appears you want to move towards this empress, but you might be questioning your own intuition. So let's find out if you are on the correct path. Now with this Ten of Cups here, that's the first sign that you are. Because the Ten of Cups is also the Wheel of Fortune. It sure is. This is about setting plans in motion, moving forward in a positive direction. Let's find out why that Ten of Cups is there and if you're on the correct path. King of Pentacles. So, you could either be um, dealing with a King of Pentacles, or you know that moving towards this Ten of Cups energy will bring you in the energy yourself to be the King of Pentacles. Because there's a stability here. Now, the King of Pentacles, he's about generosity, happiness, and this is the happiness that's found in nature or spirituality. So perhaps you feel that if you do move forward towards this Queen of Cups, even though she's in the reverse, because maybe you all aren't getting along too well, she can still bring you the stability and happiness that you want in your life. But of course, you have people in the background telling you otherwise. And even though they're telling you this, you're still contemplating. What is the problem? Just because others are telling you something doesn't mean it's right. What you need to do is follow your own heart here. And that's where I see one of the main problems are. And that's not following your heart. Now with the Ten of Cups here, you know deep down that this is the right path for you. Mermaids and or rainbows and mermaids are proof that imagination and beauty go hand in hand. <laughs> That's what the card says. With that message, I'm feeling that you might feel happiness with this person. This person could be imaginative and beautiful. This person can bring rainbows into your life, happiness, you know? Rainbows are a happy thing. Rainbows are not something that bring you down. It's not a sad thing. Rainbows are happy. And I feel like this person that you're thinking of brings you that happiness. But still, you listen to others. You don't follow your own heart. You follow the direction of others, thinking that they know what's best for you, right? 
Is that really how you feel? Or do you know what's best for you? Let's keep going. Why else is this Ten of Cups here? Why else is this Ten of Cups here? All right, this is the Four of Swords. Now, it tilted more in the reverse position, so we'll keep it there. The Four of Swords is about somebody being pretty tired of these situations. They're tired. They've gone through a lot. And they possibly don't want to go through this anymore, right? This is a cycle of creation, destruction, and renewal. And the reason for this is because this card doubles as the death card. But it's in the reverse. You might be struggling with this situation, but you do not want to end it. Somebody may have ended it with you, this Queen of Cups, but you don't want it to end. Right? You want to continue. You want to fix this. Why else is this Ten of Cups here for the viewer in regards to their path? Are they on the correct path? Let me get one card, please. Okay. The Four of Cups. So it appears that being on the correct path, to in order for you to be on the correct path, which this is going for your Ten of Cups, right? You're going to come in and you're going to need to make an offer to possibly this queen, right? And if it's not this queen and you know that your path is somewhere else, you're going to need to make an offer wherever that goes, right? If you're in a relationship already, it seems here that you want to leave that relationship with this Joker card here, moving away from this Queen of Cups who is in the reverse, and going after your Ten of Pentacles. But you are there's arguments, there's fighting, there's bickering. You just don't get along. So another story is you wanting to move towards your Ten of Cups, even though this is your Ten of Pentacles, you want love this time. And I'm feeling that once you get to this point of this Ten of Cups, you will have, you will be the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is a, a wealthy person, right? But, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have a lot of money, right? Because the King of Pentacles can be abundant. The King of Pentacles can be abundant in regards to stability, balance in their own life, understanding, and caring. Perhaps when you do go for that Ten of Cups, you become the King of Pentacles because sometimes two is better than one. You may also end this situation and become the King of Pentacles because of a split up or some sort of, you know, agreement. So you may approach this Ten of Cups, you know, with a little bit of financial security. But you know that you don't want a certain situation to be over. All right. So you might be heading in another direction towards another person. And you want to make an offer to that person because you don't want it to end. You don't want something to end. And you want to bring in an offer, but you're just not sure. Because you're not sure if this person is going to accept your offer. This is about hesitation to try something new. Fearing past mistakes, right? 
let's find out <clears throat> what is your main obstacles because we do have now the Ten of Cups in the reverse. You might be experiencing a not so happy marriage at this present time, right? This is where this is the problem. You want this Ten of Cups in the upright, but you're actually in the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you might be in a relationship already that's not working out. It's not doing very well for you, and you so badly want to take a leap of faith into a direction that will provide you happiness, but you might be involved still with somebody. So the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's about not having that happiness. You might be involved in the happiness, right? You may have wanted to set plans in motion with this person, but it seems that those plans have come to a halt because once again, the Ten of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune. And because it's in the reverse, there's no movement, no forward movement, motion, no, no accelerating in life, right? No feeling stagnant, right? Not really um, what do you, what are the words I'm trying to use here? Um, not able to, it's kind of like you had a goal in the past, but because you're with this relationship, there's no more goal there because maybe the, your partner doesn't agree with your ideas, doesn't want to be on your side when it comes to these ideas. So you're kind of stuck, not able to move forward on your own goals. This person that you're dealing with might be very abusive, verbally abusive to you. Manipulating, right? Because you might feel strong love for this person, but the person may possibly be toxic. So this Ten of Cups in the reverse, we have the Ace of Wands. So just like I said, this is also the strength card, right? This is about overcoming desire, building trust and courage. You may have went into this relationship with that in mind, and of course some passions, right? Let's find out what's in, okay. So I do also see here that somebody here was juggling had one more than one partner possibly keeping secrets eight of pentacles and all you did in your life possibly here was just in and out of people's lives you go towards the passion when that passion kind of you know when they get serious you move away you go and juggle yourself to the next person and so on and so on. So this is somebody who is not stable. And the main obstacle here is being unstable because you don't understand that stability means staying in one place, basically. Working on and working with what you have. Right? If you have like a football team you're on the same team. You work together always. You always know that your teammate has your back because they're going to always be there to protect you, always be there to, you know, tackle or whatever you need help, and they are there. But this person, you, the viewer, possibly, I'm not sure. You're going to have to see where people are placed in this situation. Whoever is dealing with this Ten of Cups in the reverse, who is in and out of people's lives, you don't have anyone on your team. You don't have that backup support. How can you if you're not part of the team? People will not allow you to be on their team if you're in and out because they can't depend on you.
And this is possibly why that marriage or that situation that you're in, possibly right here, is not going so well because you're in and out. You're sharing passions with others, trying to start new everywhere, juggling, and you're just in and out of their lives. It's like when it's time to get serious, you run. And getting serious doesn't mean that it's painful. It just means that, hmm, well, why don't we get together and talk about how we're going to pay these bills, how we're going to support ourselves, or what plans we have in our future. That's all it takes. But somebody never makes it to that point because it's like they don't even want to hear it because they feel like maybe it's fighting and arguing and bickering. But it's not. It's just talking. And if you can't communicate properly with your teammate, you're going to lose. Both sides will lose. Right? Not always both sides, though, because one side may say, you know what? I'm going to go find another team to be on because this team just doesn't have the drive or the love or the passion like I do to move forward in life and be happy. Right? Let's move on. Let's find out what is helping you. All right. What is helping the viewer in terms of this Three of Cups? Why is this Three of Cups here for the, view, uh, for the viewer? It appears that um, the Three of Cups is like a three-party situation, right? This person might think they have all kinds of options, but right here it's showing us they don't. They don't have very many options. You don't have very many. If this is you, you don't have very many options. Right? You may want party and celebration and all that stuff, right? What's helping you is just to try and be happy and celebratory, right? And you might possibly think that these three-party situations are helping you because you jump from one to the other and they give you what you need when you go there, right? Maybe each of them has a different thing that you enjoy, right? But it appears here that these options are running out. This is about secrets, imagination, and new feelings. The people that you might be dealing with, eventually they get new feelings, possibly for others. Because if you're in and out of their relationship, all you're doing is teaching them to live without you. And once they let you go, they'll start searching for somebody or something to move forward with without you. Why else is this Three of Cups here? Wow. Joker again. Make a wish upon a starfish. <laughs> so you think that you have a lot of options, or you thought you did. And it appears here that no, you don't. And this is why you're wanting to take a leap of faith now. You may have had a lot of options in the past, but like I said, those options still will get tired of your in and out energy if this is you, right? They're tired of the in and out and they want something more stable. They want their Ten of Pentacles, but they can only get that with somebody who's not in and out of their life, who's not cheating, lying, stealing, whatever. So what's helping you is to understand that you don't have all these options. And the only celebration you can gain is by taking a leap of faith towards people, places, things, jobs, environments that benefit you. Let me get another card for that Three of Cups. Yeah. 
So what you want to move away from is actually a Four of Wands energy. This is about solid foundations, stability, and celebration. So what's helping you is to move away from the situation that provides you with no love and support, right? Your correct path has been spell, spelled out for you basically right here. This is your correct path. Making an offer to somebody because you don't want this to come to an end, right? You don't want to feel tired of this situation anymore. You want to let it go. You're tired of feeling sick. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? Somebody may have ended something with you in the past. Could be this King of Pentacles, right? And you want to bring an offer in. Because this right here, you just want to get away from the party all the time, right? <clears throat> yeah. So you just want to get away from partying all the time. Because there does come a point that you need to be serious in life, right? The party has to end at some point, right? You can't just party all the time. You can't just waste your money partying all the time. What about the time that you need to support yourself? Right? You need money to support yourself, so you and your partner need to finally go back to work so you can live comfortably in your life. But if you party all the time, when are you going to have time to make money and support yourselves? Right? Also, when you're partying all the time under the influence of whatever, alcohol, drugs, whatever, your mind is clouded and you're unable to make the proper decisions for yourself. Life is not about partying seven days a week. Partying is like um, an occasional thing because we all have to get back to work and, and do the normal thing to live life, right? But you might be in a situation that it's party all the time. There's no progress being made in life. The money you do, the little money you do or you might make on the side gets spent on party. What about everything else? Especially if there's children involved. How are you going to support the children? You can't support the children on party all the time. Children need nurturing, care, and love. They need to see that life isn't about party all the time. They need to see that life is about responsibility. Caring for another person. Having a teammate, right? Mm -hmm. So it appears that you want to take a leap of faith. There's no options here. You want to take a leap of faith away from these options and party all the time. And you want to get away from this relationship that possibly you're in that's just no good. Four of Wands in the reverse. There's no stability there. There's no solid foundation. There's no happiness. Right? And if you want help, what's going to help you is to move away from the situation. Let's find out how progress can be made, okay? Because we have this King of Cups here. King of Cups is somebody who is sensitive and, you know, giving and loving, right? Nurturing. Maybe it's time for you to change into that energy, right? Hmm. Wow. We have the Six of Swords. Progress can be made if you move towards your happiness. 
If you can move towards your happiness, progress will be made, definitely. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depths and great a great fear of shallow living. So it appears with this message, because some of these messages are foolish, <laughs> but I'm getting a message from this. I'm feeling that you are afraid to take this leap of faith. And you'd rather, it's kind of like swimming, right? You're afraid to swim. You're afraid to swim because you're afraid you will drown for somebody that doesn't know how. So you stay in the shallow end, right? And say that the prize is at the end of the pool, but you have to swim from the shallow end across the deep end and just have no fear so you can win that prize. But you're not doing it because you're afraid to swim across the deep end. You're afraid of change. That's basically what I'm saying. You're afraid of change. You're afraid to um, follow your intuition and your heart. But I do see that you do want to move in a direction. This is about leaving worries behind. This is about transitioning into another uh, life. So you can find the Four of Wands in the upright. This is the bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands. Remember, solid foundations, stability and celebration, because currently you don't have that. Currently it's in the reverse. And if you want to have it in the upright, you need to move away from this toxicity, this party all the time mentality. You feel like moving forward towards your happiness is a burden, right? Feeling like you don't want to do it. It's about being responsible, but you're feeling like being responsible is burdensome. There comes a time in our lives that we have to deal with responsibilities. You can't live in child mentality your whole life. Children are not really that responsible. They have basic responsibilities, right? Respecting the adults, going to school, doing their homework, studying um, their chores or whatnot, right? <clears throat> Respecting adults, for sure. But you're not a child anymore. And you might have even lost those responsibilities that you were taught as a child, if you were even taught them. If you weren't taught them, it's time to learn. <clears throat> because I understand that there's some children that they don't grow up with their natural parents. Maybe they grow up in the system. You can't learn responsibility from the system because they don't teach it. The system punishes you constantly. So perhaps you're feeling that responsibility is a form of punishment, right? But it's not. Responsibility is something that lifts you up and makes you that adult, that responsible adult. <clears throat> But in this case, you're feeling like you can't be that King of Cups because you're in the reverse here. King of Cups in the reverse, it's like a heartless person. They don't want to nurture. They don't want to share. They don't want to be responsible. They don't want their heart broken. 
but it appears here that there will be movement towards this burden. Somebody here, you possibly, because you want to take the leaps of faith times three, <laughs> right? You got it three times here. You want to move away from something so badly. You want to move away from something so badly that you're willing to deal with this burden. That's how bad it is. Because there is no love where you are. And if you want to be a loving king, a responsible, nurturing, caring king, you may make the choice to move forward towards this burden, this burden of learning how to be responsible. And look at this. Once you do that, Ace of Pentacles in the upright. A new start, a new stable start. This is also the world card. The Ace of Diamonds doubles as the world card in this deck, and that is peace, travel, being open-minded. Instead of so close-minded thinking that, oh, it's going to fail, it's going to fail. But it's not. You'll never know until you try. And you should know right off the bat if it's going to fail. All you need to do is move forward. Your burden will be having to talk to somebody, of course. You're going to have to talk to somebody. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depths and a great fear of shallow living. Sorry. I feel like we have, I read this already. I'm trying to see where it is. Huh. Anyhow. It appears that this actually, yeah, this was in the reverse. My bad. So the problem here, right? How can progress be made? Progress can be made to get you to this Four of Wands if you take that chance. You get in the shallow end and you swim towards your prize. That's beyond the deep end. Do not fear change, right? You can do this. I'll tell you a story. I was in the Navy, right? And in boot camp, you must know how to swim if you're in the Navy, right? How can you be a sailor and not know how to swim? Fortunate for myself, I knew how. But when it came time for us to show the drill sergeant people or the company commanders that we could do it, you know, I jumped in, I swam to the edge. Yes, triumph. Half the people in my group could not swim. And you know how they had to pass this test because this is a test. They have search and rescue swimmers in this really big pool there, right? Got one on the left, one on the right. They put that you climb up this big ladder, get on the end, edge of the diving board, and they just tell you just simply jump in. Well, a lot of these people that were in my group could not swim. They were crying on that diving board in line, crying. And the ones who could swim were just quiet because we understand, okay, they can't swim, they're scared. Even though we told them, you can do it, you can do it, just move your arms, right? And they're just like, ah, I'm gonna die, blah, 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 right? Even though there's search and rescue swimmers right down below, who, who will save them, right? They're still frightened. But you know what? 
each person jumped in and they were forced to learn to swim at that moment. Yes, the search and rescue guys were there, but they did not put one finger on anybody who could not swim. They got close enough to yell at them, swim, swim, move your arms, swim. <laughs> Within moments, that person was swimming. And the person who was yelling this to them, the search and rescue people, didn't even have to touch them. We can all swim, you guys. We can all move forward. All you got to do is make the effort. Do you know how happy these people were when they swam to the edge? And they're like, I can swim. I can do this. Do you think the military wants people who can't do something? No. They want people who, who will succeed, who aren't afraid. And this is you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to follow your heart. Following your heart won't kill you. You won't drown. You know what I'm saying? But if you never try, you'll never know. And you'll always be stuck in the shallow end while everybody is swimming through the, the deep end to get their prize in life. And that's love. The most priceless prize anyone can have is true love. And you'll never find that unless you take the chance. <clears throat> okay, you guys. That's what I have for you today for the I Love Unicorns and Mermaids reading. Um, just remember, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving. We have nothing to fear because we are calm, we are cheerful, and we are worth it. Okay. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll speak to you guys next time.